But Kate, that's a terrific idea. Can I come to the hospital with you? I would love it. The children's faces yes, we'll light up so... What is it? Oh, St. Bart's! Huh? Oh, look at this. Tickets and brochure. My word, that is lovely. Look. look at that beach. It's totally deserted. Travel agents swore that's all there would be. Miles and miles of white sand and nobody else. You know what that means. Cagney. Oh, that's all right, dear. He likes to shock his mother, but not this time. Now, I hope that you two enjoy yourselves on your honeymoon. Skinny dipping and all. Oh, Ma. Oh, oh. My turn to shock him. <laughs> Oh, well, well. I was beginning to think you were going to sleep the day away. I'll make you some breakfast. No, no, don't. No, i got to go out anyway. Well, you just got home. What could be more important than talking to your mother? Well, absolutely nothing, but we'll have to catch up later, okay? A mother's fate. I'll make an apple pie. Then I'll hurry home. Morning. Hey, good morning. Hi, Hogan. Hey. You know this pen. It's the brooch with a curse on it, isn't it, Mom? Is there a story behind this pen? I certainly will not. Well, how can you tell us that? We heard, Ma. Anyway, I have to go. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, you're incorrigible. Oh, oh, Kate, come on, I'm dying of curiosity. All right, on one condition, that you take it with a grain of salt. I promise. Now, this brooch once belonged to Cagney's great-grandmother, Anastasia O'Brien from County Clare. It was a gift from her husband, Francis, and shortly after he gave it to her, he was lost at sea. That's it? Well, no. Well, don't stop now. Anastasia passed it on to her oldest son, Michael, and then he gave it to his wife. Well, what happened to Michael? He was killed in a mining accident two weeks later. Well, that's weird. It hardly sounds like a pattern to me. Well, you know how superstitious the Irish are. They could find a curse under a shamrock. All right, well, after Michael, what happened to the pen? My Aunt Mary got it, and she sent it to me. Well, did anything happen to Aunt Mary's husband? No. See, then it's lost its power. Nothing happened to her husband because she never got married. She foiled the coits. Oh, schmott, schmott. I am sure that you're not superstitious, but if you're not comfortable wearing it, I, I, I don't think Cagney would be offended. Oh, Kate, of course I'm going to keep it. You know, I think the legend is sort of... Well, I think it's wonderful, and it's romantic and mysterious and entirely made up. No, no way. I'm not giving back my beautiful brooch. Yay! Where's Susie? There she is. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello, Stephanie. Hi, Mrs. Wyatt. Darling, I have a surprise. Well, actually, it's for the two of you. I've decided on my wedding gift. It's perfect. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with where you'll be living. I've already offered them this house. This? Here? That's out of the question. I'm going to buy you your dream house, Stephanie. That's terribly generous of, of you. Of course it is. I know that, and I'm not taking no for an answer. Now, we'll go house hunting this afternoon. Mrs. Wyatt, uh, Stephanie. Susie. Well, Stephanie, you know, we've rented this big old house, and it has a huge backyard right, for kid. Joan. It's going to need a little bit of work. Well, actually, a lot of work. And I'm going to love every minute of yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Well. I see. Um, I better get back to work. Stephanie, wait. You know, I, I'm really glad that you came by today. I, I wanted to see you. You see, I'm going to pick out my wedding gown. I thought your Aunt Jo was going to be doing that with you. She is. But I don't see why I can't have you both. I mean, you know I, how much I value your taste. Really? Mm -hmm. You want me? Yes. Joe will hate it. Well, maybe she won't mind. And besides, whose wedding is it anyway? Please say yes. Yes. 